Yo, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new video, guys. Today, we are playing Low Frequency. This game is by the same creator that made a hole in the cabin that I made a few months, like a month ago or so, a few weeks ago. He made another, this is another one of his work, so I'm going to decide to play it. Uh, so let's jump right into it. Uh, no questions asked as per usual. Ah, feels great to be back. Feels great being playing these indie horror games. There's a lot of them. I was away for quite a while. While some of the games that have been popping up recently are looking really spooky. So, damn, my fucking boy Tweety's back, dude. Damn. Radio. Oh. All right. The following message is transmitted at the request of emergency management officials. At 11.52 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, an earthquake measuring a 9.6 magnitude occurred on the Cascadia fault line. As a result of this earthquake, a large tsunami was generated and is expected to impact the west coast within 30 minutes. Wave heights cannot be predicted at this time. All residents on the beach and in low-lying areas are advised to evacuate immediately. Follow designated evacuation routes, which will lead you to higher ground. Please proceed yeah. in a quest for this little fashion. That was weird. If you have children at school, do not attempt to pick them up as they are being evacuated to higher ground as well. Do not use your telephone at this time. Each year, Leave your lines open for emergency use. Tune to KYTE radio at 100. Alright, so there seems to be an earthquake that might have just happened at whatever thing I'm sailing off to. Tweety, my boy. By the way, this they, these graphics look great, but... What's with these bars that are just like right here? Kind of weird to say it's like vertical, but like, anyways, maybe that's the whole point of the aesthetic is everything's supposed to be lowish frequency. I don't know what's supposed to be happening. I'm just on, I'm just on a boat. I'm on a boat with Tweety, Tweety Bird. I don't have a rap lyric for him. Oh, maybe I was supposed to have the radio play the entire time to meet me back to a dock or something like that. Oh, look at that. We're pulling up on a city, dude. Oh, we're at low frequency. All right, boys. Boys and Tweety Bird. Hello, sir. Marcus, you can rest. You can rest in the last room on your right. All right. Hi, ma'am. After the arrival, anyone would feel that way. I, I guess. Is this my room? Is this my bed? Oh, I went in the fucking right. God damn it. Is this a poop? Wait. Bro, dude pooped in his goddamn bowl. Hello, ma'am. Or sir, you will not have a victory. It is weird. All right, your guys' dialogue is fucking something else. Jacob, you shouldn't pay attention. Wait, 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 what? Bro, where am I, where am I supposed to sleep? Oh, I'm sleeping here with three other, with two other people. Sir, can you, can you understand that? John, welcome partner. Looks like today wasn't a good day. You should sleep a little. All right. Well, if you say so, I guess I'll. Can I cannonball in? I didn't think I was able to fall in. Am I dead? Did I fucking die? Oh my! No, I died. I fucking drowned. No! I gotta do that shit all over. All right, we're back. Uh, so whenever you play this game, do not fall in the water. I believe it is this room. Or we're just gonna go right to bed. Sleeping time. I hope nothing. Is fucking weird here. Everybody just lives on a dot. Uh. Oh, I didn't turn off the radio. Oh, she's the one that pooped in her fucking. Is there more? Bro, how many fucking radios are there? You're telling me you can't fall asleep with a couple radios that aren't even near you? Where's that other fucking radio at? Where the fuck is the other goddamn radio? This radio is goddamn doesn't want to be turned off. And this flashlight doesn't do any help. Turn off the radios. Do I gotta go in that fucking radio tower and turn off the main fucking radio? Turn off the radios. I've turned off the radios 17 times already. Is there one more radio in that little shack? God damn, bro. This door is locked. No fucking shit. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I don't know if I'm supposed to... I turned off all the radios, so I thought...
Oh, this radio. Okay. Okay. Why is everything so silent for? Okay. Alright. Thank God. Another normal day, huh? Woo! What a normal day, right? What about that sleep, John, huh? I still don't understand why the sun hasn't risen. Alright. Can I get in here yet? I can. P. Is that an option? Can I P? Door. Okay, there's gas there and there's a P bucket. Hello, sir. Nice to see you again. The weather forecast seems to show the proximity of rare rain. I recommend that you sleep. That's all. Alright. Well, he told me I should just fall back asleep. Because that's what every fucking indie horror game is. Go to bed. Wake up in the middle of the night. That's what it's going to tell me to do. It's early. So I'm not supposed to fall asleep? Can I just not dock? Can I just go? Like, why? why like, what's stopping me from going? Just get a fucking oar and there you go. Alright, so he told me I should just go to bed. But it's fucking early. The night was very noisy. Oh, you're telling me. I was wondering how to turn off everything for you. So it tells me it's early. Am I supposed to just talk with everybody first? Is somebody in the john? No, nobody. Oh, now I can sleep. Before it was early, but now I can sleep. Ah! Alright, don't be anything silly now. Oh my lord, it's raining men! Uh. Where the fuck is everybody? Uh. Oh! Um. He will not have- he will not have a victory? All right. All right. Lucas. You can stay as long as you want. All right. Who's over here? Okay. Any anyway, we're happy that there is a visitor. Okay, am I supposed to just... Can I just go back to my fucking boat? There is no one else here. You better run. Oh! Hey, yo! What is happening? What is happening? Oh! Oh no! Final D, the end. My God, that was so such the psychological factor was a lot. Oh man. Yeah, so that game was somewhat different. It was not up to expectations, and I thought for a hole in the cabin, it was strange. It was a strange game that has potential, if that makes sense. Game's a little buggy, but I think that's what every somewhat small horror game is that it goes through uh, different cycles of quality wise. So the game was really good. I like the graphics for it, but it's just uh, gameplay itself was a little bit buggy. Explain some of that. So sometimes the dialogue was a little too quick. If you were to press it, it just wouldn't even pop up. The dialogue wouldn't even pop up. It was, it, depending on how fast you clicked. But I mean, other than that, like the wasn't really much of a jump scary game. It was more of a it was more of a different sort of game that like was it's just different. It's just way different. You're on a dock, and then you have to sacrifice yourself or die to a guy of high frequency i don't know but guys that is it for this video guys thank you guys so much so much uh for keeping up with me and it really means a lot and it's only up from here guys i hope you guys have a great day and or night depending on when you're reviewing this stay safe be responsible and i will see you guys in the next video peace out